Hello, hello guys. This is one of the adjacent hobbies to writing and fountain pens. I am putting wax seals on my Thanksgiving envelopes to a couple friends. And let's see if this one's about ready to pop off. There we go. I did a ship theme, kind of for the Mayflower, for Thanksgiving. And when I add some kind of accents to that, it will definitely pop more. That one is almost ready for the next letter. There we go, now you see it with the full accents to bring out the pattern, and it's time to pour the next one. So we'll move this one out of the way. And here we go. Some people just pour it. I like to kind of swirl so you get a little bit more of the effects of the different um, well, I choose different waxes to put, so it gives like different layers to it. So and then you got to kind of invert it, figure out where it should be aligned and then go ahead and stamp it down. That one's set. And now I'm going to go ahead and put more wax over here. I use two from this one and there's one orange in this one I like. So I'm mixing three different shades of wax. Now to note, the seal actually takes about four little tabs of wax in this shape, but once you get rolling, there's still some wax left over on the this part here. So four for my initial, three for every subsequent one, and that tends to work very nicely for me, at least in this uh, you know, this size. Different ones are different sizes, right? So this one's smaller, this one's gonna take less, for example. All right, my last one is ready, and here we go. And at this point, because it's my last one, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that while it's still warm. That wax comes off nice and easy. And what I like to do to put the candle out is to go ahead and just get an empty vessel of some sort to suffocate it so you don't get extra smoke by blowing it out. And that flame eats all the oxygen until it cannot survive any longer, and then poof. And then when I take this off, I don't have tons of smoke stinking up the room. Now, onto the wax. It is okay to let it dry a little bit. Some people actually prefer to do it that way. I usually go a little bit quicker than that, so I'm kind of interested, but it still seems like it's squished down perfectly fine. A little bit of uh, maybe less of the cylindrical kind of outer dispersing, but... All right, a couple of minutes later, pop that off, and... There we go. And my Thanksgiving letters are ready to go out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along and learning some tips on how to add some wax seals. Please do subscribe and share this with a friend if you are into inks, stationery, and or fountain pens. May all your journeys lead to your own personal giving of thanks.